E.W. was consumed, completely focused on Marland Oil. He's a workaholic. He was going to see that his dream came through no matter how many hours it took. Mary Virginia's education and refinement put her in the middle of Ponca City social circles. Yet something was missing. After a decade of marriage, they were childless and longed for a family. Back in Pittsburgh, Mary Virginia's sister and her husband, Margaret and George Roberts, were struggling to provide for their six children. The father was trying to make a living selling fruit and vegetables from a push cart downtown Pittsburgh. So the family had fallen on hard times, uh, were probably really in need of, of help and assistance. Mary Virginia invited the two oldest children, George, age 17, and Lydie, 14, to Ponca City for an extended visit. So can you imagine 100 years ago, two teenagers living in somewhat relative poverty, suddenly transported by train to the plains of Oklahoma. It's hard to even conceive how they took that in. Lighty and George embraced life in Ponca City and were quickly accepted by their peers. So I can see how Mrs. Marlin probably in particular uh, became very close to her niece and nephew. I can see how Mr. Marlin wanting a legacy uh, would, would want young people around. In 1916, with the Roberts' blessing, the Marlins formally adopted George and Lighty. They went from being probably nobody in Pittsburgh society to literally the, the crown prince and princes, I would say, of Ponca City in northern Oklahoma. Since their arrival in Ponca City, the Marlins had been living at the Arcade Hotel but now they wanted a long-term home for their new family. E.W. could afford the best. Solomon Layton, architect of the Oklahoma State Capitol. Layton designed a showplace befitting an oil baron. If you have that kind of money, you want to show it. And uh, so I, I think they, the desire was there at that point to uh, build a fine home to establish himself as a permanent resident of Ponca City. What is now known as the Grand Home was completed in 1916 at an estimated cost of $350,000. The 16,500 square foot structure has 22 rooms and is one of the first homes in Oklahoma to have modern conveniences and an indoor swimming pool. The grand home overlooked 80 acres of beautifully sculpted landscape with a formal garden modeled after the Royal Gardens of Versailles. Next to the gardens, where the city dump had been, Marlin built a nine-hole golf course, open to the public, free of charge. Mary Virginia, or Muzz, as Lighty called her, was delighted to have her new home filled with laughter. Lighty helped Mary Virginia around the house and with entertaining the Marlin's frequent guests. In her free time, Lighty loved horseback riding, dancing, and art. George was athletic and excelled at many sports, but polo was his favorite. He also had a creative side and even wrote a comedy with a provocative title that was performed by his friends. 